Hey everyone, the Beast of Nor here. When you were younger, do you remember having this screensaver on your computer? The Windows Maze? Well, today I'm going to show you how to get it again and have it as a screensaver on your new computer. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need this link, which I'll put in the description. Okay, so basically, go to that link, put it in your browser, Alright, brings you to this page. Now, the the link you click on to download the screensaver is right here, w98maze.zip. Just click on that, open it, and you get these two files. You want to extract them, and it will give you these, 3dmaze and kernel32.dll. Alright, as you can see, both modified 1999. So these are some old files, but that is what will give you the screensaver. So, now, you select both of them, copy them, go to C or whatever your hard drive is, your system drive, go to Windows, and you're going to paste. Now, mine already has it in there because I already did this on my computer, but basically just paste them both in there. It'll probably ask you for permission, just say yes. You'll close that, you want to go to right click on your desktop, do personalize, your screensaver, and then 3D Maze OpenGL will show up in your list of screensavers. So basically you can go in the settings, you can change the textures for the walls, um, the floor, the ceiling. The only problem is, is that the walls and the ceiling kind of glitch together, so it, it's best to... Um, set them as a both of the same texture so they won't glitch. Also, you're going to want to uncheck full screen. You're going to uncheck full screen and you're going to drag this slider all the way to max. That way you'll have your screen saver screen saver will actually be full screen. Otherwise, it will show up in a square if you check this box. Funny enough, it will show up in a square. So you want to uncheck that, drag that all the way to max and click okay. Alright, basically there's that, and now I will show you what it looks like. And there we are, and it looks about 15 times better when you when you check that slider all the way up. Now, as you, you can probably see what I'm talking about, the walls and the ceiling glitching together. Unfortunately, that's just what it does. I don't know how to fix that, but it looks pretty nice. So there you go, you got your little nostalgic screensaver, and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.